Hi everyone, today I'll be discussing on the correction of hyponatremia with 3% NS. For increase in serum sodium by 1 millimol per liter, you require 2 times the total body water in ml of 3% NS. That is 2 into 60 by 100 of body weight. This is as per the recommendation given in the Oxford Handbook of Anesthesia. So for a 60 kg patient, what you will require is 2 into 60 by 100 into 60. That is 2 into 36, that is 72 ml is required to increase the serum sodium by 1 millimole per liter. Suppose the patient's serum sodium is 125 millimole per liter and you have to increase it to 135 for correction so that means you require the serum sodium to increase by 10 millimole per liter so how much of the 3% NS will you require you will require 72 ml 720 ml 72 into 10 that is 720 ml to increase it by 10 millimole per liter now infusion rates are recommended at 1.2 to 2.4 ml per kg per hour so that is you take 2 so 2 into weight is 60 ml should be given in 1 hour so that is 120 ml can be given in 1 hour but for correction it is recommended that in the first 4 hours you should give first 4 hours you should give maximum of 2 millimole per liter per hour correction and afterwards you have to give it at 1 millimole per liter per hour till there is resolution of symptoms. As we all know rapid correction of this hyponatremia can result in central pontine myelinosis. So, if you are, this 120 ml per hour will increase the serum sodium by 120 by 72 millimole per liter. So, that is, it is anyway less than 2 millimole per liter per hour. So there is no problem. So we can infuse for the first 4 hours. You can infuse it at 120 ml per hour rate. So for the first 4 hours if it is 120 per ml. So total infusion in the first 4 hours will be 120 into 4. That is 480 ml. So we are left with how many more ml? 720 minus 480. That is 240 ml. Now this 240 ml should be infused at a slower rate, at 1 millimole per liter per hour, that is at 72 ml per hour it should be transfused. So that comes to around over 3 hours. So that means that the first 4 hours you can give 120 ml per hour for the first 4 hours afterwards you can give 72 ml up to you reach 240 ml per hour so this comes to almost 7 hours and it is also recommended that 12 millimole per liter is the maximum correction that you can do in 24 hours meaning the correction should not exceed 12 millimole per liter per day I hope this was clear so we required 720 ml to be transfused so we gave in the first 4 hours a maximum infusion rate 120 ml per hour because that is less than the recommended 2 millimole per liter per hour rate. 
So first four hours when we transfuse it became 480 ml and rest we are left with 720 minus 480 that is 240 ml. Now this 240 ml should go at a maximum of 1 millimole per liter per hour rate. That is 1 millimole per liter per hour roughly translates to 72 ml per hour. So we, and we give the 240 ml in 72 ml per hour rate it comes to around 3 hours. So the total infusion will be for the first 4 hours at 120 ml per hour and the next uh, almost 3 hours it comes to at around 72 ml. So it will be almost around 7, 7.3 hours like that.